The 13 Tom and Jerry shorts made by the Czechoslovakian director Jean Deitch are infamous for their poor quality and rather disturbing nature, featuring horribly done sound effects and animation and having a much more realistic feel to the violence. Some speculated that Deitch didn't like the concept behind Tom and Jerry to begin with, and that he was pressured by Metro Golden Mayor into making them for a salary of $80,000 a year. And as a result, because of the payment and the concept, he wanted to make the people who watched his take on it feel bad for liking the concept behind Tom and Jerry to begin with. What many people don't know, however, is that Deitch was originally signed on to make more than the 13 shorts that the public has access to. Desperate to get out of his contract, Deitch had made one more Tom and Jerry short that only a selected number of people at Metro Golden Mare attended to see at a screening that got him fired. The short was called Tom's Basement. It opened with Tom in a typical Tom and Jerry house, with his owner been the fat angry guy from the other Deitch shorts, seeming a lot more angry than his other appearances. The first scene was him stomping on Tom's tail in a very realistic and painful looking way because Tom was sleeping by the basement door. The owner yelled at Tom to never go down there. Cruelly terrified, Tom ran away to another room. Our view stayed in the room by the basement door and we saw Jerry come out of a mouse hole. He looked very grotesque, far more off model than the other dice shorts. He got an evil look in his face and he followed Tom into the next room. The next few minutes were fairly formulaic. Jerry repeatedly managed to trick Tom into chasing him to the basement door a few times, but each time the owner would catch Tom, he would inflict a painful looking injury onto his body, which would stay with him even after the scene would end. After at least three beatings, Tom was bruised all over, bleeding in a few places and limping on a broken leg. After this, Tom started to literally beg Jerry not to bother him anymore. He wasn't really talking, but he was crying and mumbling, and you could tell what he was doing with his body language. Jerry just laughed at him, and he pushed him back to the basement door. The owner caught Tom again, and he went ballistic. The camera zoomed in on his face, it changed color, and distorted as he yelled at Tom in a much louder, much louder voice than any other sound of the cartoon. It seemed like Jerry had finally decided to, to take pity on Tom, though. Jerry picked up a knife that was lying around, and he stabbed the owner in the leg, quite graphically. Tom opened the basement door, and they carried the owner's body down the stairs. There were dozens of other bodies down there, decaying and showing signs of their violent deaths. Tom and Jerry shook hands, and it seemed like they were trying to over the serial killer. But Jerry got an evil look in his face, and Tom said in that deep, ghostly, deep voice, Don't you believe it. The last shot was the two of them putting up a for sale sign in the yard as a house, with Jerry laughing, clearly planning to do it all again. 